Hello Junior 4, today we are going to talk about concept 3 light and sight. Previously we said that sight is one of the five senses, okay? So one of the most important senses that we have is sight sense. We see things through our eyes and we said that the brain processes information or the messages coming from the eye very fast how can we see we see by what by light the light will enter our eyes and then will be collected at the back and the message or the electrical impulses as we said before will be sent to the brain so the brain can process process it the eye is the organ of sight that is affected by light in both humans and animals and the brain explains what the eye sees for example if you see red color and yellow color the message will be sent to the eye and then passes through the nerves and what will process or explains it what will process or explain it the brain here is a question. Can we see in dark without light? Most of living organisms cannot see in dark because they need light. Light helps us to gather information about what is happening around us. So what is meant by light? Light is a form of energy. But what is the difference between light and sound energy? What is the difference between light and heat energy? Both heat and sound energies, we cannot see them. So these energies are invisible. We call these energy energies that we cannot see them invisible form of energies. But what about the light? Can we see the light? Yes. So light is a visible form of energy, which means can be seen. Again, what's meant by visible can be seen. So light is a visible form of energy. Form means shape. Form means shape of energy that travels in a straight line travels in what in a straight line like the light of the projectors they tr the light rays travels in a straight lines and hit the whiteboard so light is a visible form of energy that travels in a straight lines in the form of light waves like the sound waves like we took it with the a sound wave sent by that dolphin so the light waves they travel in a straight lines now what are the sources of light what's meant by sources sources they are things that produce or give light such as what again what are the sources of Light, what are the things that give us light? Such as sun, electric lamps, flashlights, candles, and fire, and so on. All of these, we call them what? Sources of light. Why? Because they produce light. They give us light. But there are other objects that don't produce light or don't emit light there are other objects that don't emit light but they reflect light they bounce off light that falls on them so they are not considered as a source of light they just reflect the light such as the moon and the mirror the mirror when light falls on it 
it will reflect light. Does the mirror produce light? No, the mirror doesn't produce light. So it's not a source of light. The same for the moon. The moon is a dark body. The moon doesn't produce light. It just reflect just what reflects the light of the sun when the sunlight falls on the moon it will be reflected from the moon that's why we can see it shiny at night now how can we see things the same like the moon can we see the moon if it didn't reflect the sun of the light can we see the moon if there is no light? No. So how can we see things around us? Due to the reflection of light after it emits from the source of light. So again, how can we see things around us? Due to the reflection of light. What's meant by reflection? It is the bouncing, the bouncing of light. What's, what's meant by bouncing? Bouncing means returning back of light. When it falls on an object. When it falls on an object. Here, how this man sees this flower. The light ray will fall on the flower and then the flower will reflect the light to its eyes then the brain can translate the reflected image so again how do we see things around us due to the reflection of light now we are going to talk about different types of materials according to their ability to pass light or reflect light here we have two materials This is a plastic sheet. What will happen if I put it on the coin? And this is a cartoon paper sheet. What will happen if I put it the, on the coin? What is the difference between this sheet and this sheet? Which one of them will pass the light so I can see through it? Which one of them will pass the light so I can see through it excellent this transparent sheet this transparent sheet so we have two different types of materials materials that allow light to pass through it so i can see behind it we call them transparent materials these materials they allow allow means let light to pass through let light to pass through let means allow so that materials that allow light to pass through we call them transparent materials like what like glass air and water what about these materials if i put them i cannot see behind them these materials we call them opaque materials repeat after me opaque materials opaque materials these materials do they allow light to pass through no they don't allow light to pass through so what will happen when light falls on them when light falls on them it will be reflected it will be reflected or absorbed absorbed by the object so again the opaque materials they don't allow light to pass through so they reflect light or absorb it and because of that a shadow is formed because light travels in a straight line, your junior four. So when light falls on opaque objects, it cannot pass. 
So what will form? What will form? Can you see here the dark area? Can you see here what will form under the paper? Can you see this dark area? This dark area called shadow. Can you see here the shadow? Because light falls on an opaque material and the light didn't pass. The light didn't pass. So it formed the shadow. It formed the shadow. Opaque materials like what? Like the wood, like plastic and metals. Metals like what? The shiny things like iron, aluminium, copper. You know the aluminium is the frame of the window. That's the aluminium. The copper, gold, silver, all of these are metals and they don't allow light to pass through they reflect or absorb light so we call them transparent or opaque excellent opaque because they don't allow light to pass through why the transparent materials they allow light to pass through like glass like air like water here you can see your hands under the water so like we previously said, when light strikes, strikes means hit matter, hit an object, matter means object. When light hits an object, some of light energy is reflected off, is absorbed or passes through the object, goes through it. Here, but... If I see the object, if I see this object, I see it because of what? Due to light reflection. Do all the substance or materials reflect light the same way or different? Yes, different. Reflection of light is different on different materials. Here we have mirror, piece of food, and glass. Which one of them will reflect very small amount of light and I cannot see it well? I cannot see the object well. Which of them will reflect very small amount of light that sometimes I couldn't notice it? Yes, excellent. The glass or the transparent materials. It's very hard to see the transparent materials because they reflect very small amount of light. Example like glass or like this transparent plastic sheet. It's a plastic sheet, but here it's very hard to see it because it reflects small amount of light. What about wood? It's a rough material. They reflect less amount of light. Like what? Plastic, wood, cloth and paper. What about the mirror? The mirror, it's an opaque material. Yes, it's an opaque because it doesn't allow light to pass through but it what reflects light it what reflects light because it shine it is a shiny and smooth materials they reflect light better than other materials like what are shiny and smooth like the mirror and metals so again let's summarize which one of them is transparent material? Excellent. The glass. Glass reflects light but with very, very small amount. What about the wood and the mirror? Both of them, they are opaque. Both of them, they are opaque. But both of them reflect 
light, but they reflect light in a different way because the mirror is very smooth and shiny while the wood, plastic, cloth and paper are rough materials. They reflect light with different ways. The light is reflected in two different ways according to the smoothness of the surface. How smooth is the surface? If it's very smooth surface like the polished mirror, it's very, very smooth. Try to touch a mirror, you can find it's very smooth and shiny. When light falls on very smooth surface, what will happen to the light rays? All of the light rays will be reflected with the same angle will be reflected with the same angle, okay? So that's why if you look at the mirror, you can see your image because your image is reflected to on the mirror. The whole image is reflected by the mirror because it's very smooth, smooth surface. While the rough surface, the, like the other opaque materials, painted surface like the wall, like the cloth, like the wood, like the plastic, the, the colored or painted plastic, when the light falls on it, the blue here, the blue light represents the light when it falls on a rough surface and the reflected light is represented by red rays here what will happen if the light falls on a rough surface do the light rays reflect in the same angle no what will happen to the light rays they spread they are scattered diffused when they fall on rough surface reflected in same direction or in different direction different direction so again the reflection of light depends on the smoothness of the surface if it's smooth what will happen it will be reflected in the same angle if it's rough the light will be scattered the light will be what scattered repeat after me scattered or diffused repeat after me diffused diffused now let's talk about our eye how do we see things by our eyes the lens inside the eye work as a magnifying glass you know the magnifying glass that focuses focuses means concentrate the light that falls on it onto the back of the eye when the light falls it passes through the lens and then focused or collected at the back of the eye and causes seeing different object then the image is when the image is collected or the light is collected at the back this message will send by the nerve to the brain now if someone cannot see well with its eyes for example some people have blurry vision they cannot focus they cannot focus on things some people are unable to see far objects and other people are unable to see near objects and some of them have difficulties in distinguishing between colors so where should they go Excellent. They should go to the doctor that fixes the eyes. Who is the doctor that will fix your eyes? It call, he, we call them optometrist. Repeat after me. Optometrist. Repeat after me. Optometrist. The optometrist is a doctor who specializes in vision, seeing and eye sight 
They help pe people who have problems in their eyes. So what should they do? They should advise them or help them to use glasses or contact lenses and or using laser surgery. If you want to be an optometrist, you're going to be an optometry student. You should learn how to prevent blindness. Blind, blindness means people that cannot see. Blind, blind people means people that cannot see. Okay? And treat eye diseases and correct the vision. If you want to be, to be an optometry student, you should learn to prevent blindness, treat eye diseases and correct vision. We said that we cannot see without light. So can we see in dark? No, we cannot see in dark. We need light to see. What about the nocturnal animals? Do they have the same structure of our eyes? They are similar with the humans, but different in other structure because their eyes have adopted to see in a very or the weakest light level. Their eyes have adapted to see in the weakest light levels. Now, let's see what is the difference between the human eyes and the nocturnal animal eyes. Here, what is the difference between them? Look at them. What is the difference between them? Which is bigger, of course, compared to their bodies? Yes, our eye, the human's eye, is small compared to the nocturnal animal's eye. So nocturnal animal's eye, they have bigger eyes. And what will the, when light enters, when light enters our eyes, it should pass through what you know the dark spot or the dark dot in your uh, in your eyes this called pupil this called eye pupil this eye pupil if it there is a lot of light it will close if it's very dim light weak light we they it open very wide so which one of them open wider which pupil will open wider in the human eye or the nocturnal animal yes the nocturnal animal's eyes open wider the pupil open wider pupils open wider to let more light enter to let more light enter the eyes then that when the light enter the eyes it will be collected at the back of the eye at this green membrane so the nocturnal animals they have bigger eyes their pupils tend to open wider than that of humans, allowing more light to enter, allowing more light to enter. And although nocturnal animals can see the weakest light levels, but in complete darkness, they depend on other senses such as hearing, touching, and smelling. We are going to talk about some animals that have super sensory adaptation to survive, including night vision. They can see in dim light at night, which enables them to see at night or dim light, such as 
fishing cat and tarsier monkey. Let's start with the fishing cat. The fishing cat, it has a structural adaptation in its eyes that this special eye structure that makes its eyes glow in the dark. Did you see a cat before that its eyes glow in the dark? Like this picture? Yes, why? Why this cat's eyes glow in the dark? Because they have a structural adaptation. It's like a layer at the back of their eyes. This called tapetum lucidum. Again, this membrane or this layer, it's called tapetum lucidum. Repeat after me. Tapetum lucidum. This tapetum lucidum plays a role that makes that makes that's that causes the glowing of eyes of the fishing cat, and also it plays a role in reflecting more light. Here, this part that collects the light, when light pass through it. And it make more reflection, more reflection inside the eyes. Makes more light to be reflected on the eye. So it can see better at night. So this membrane or this mirror-like membrane, this mirror-like membrane because it reflects light, we call it what matter like membrane this membrane it has a name this structural adaptation it has a name called tapetum lucidum called what tapetum lucidum what is the tapetum L tapetum lucidum it's the latin word in english it has the meaning of tapestry of light so what is the tapetum lucidum it is a thin reflective layer. Again, it is a thin reflective layer. That's the tapetum lucidum. Thin reflected layer. At the front or at the back of the eye? Excellent. At the back of some animal's eyes that reflects, that reflects and magnifies, magnifies makes the light bigger light in dark or dim places in dark or dim places dim means have weak light levels okay not complete darkness it's not complete darkness so again what is that the tapetum lucidum it's a layer at the back of the of some nocturnal animals eyes that reflect the light like the mirror the mirror reflect light so it's a membrane mirror like membrane that reflect the light that's why the cat's eyes seems to glow in the dark the fishing cats have a mirror like membrane on the back of their eyes that's called tape uh, tapetum lucidum when light enters its eyes, it bounces off. What's meant by bounces off? Reflects. What's meant by bounces off? Reflects. So when light enters its eyes, it bounces off this membrane, allowing the eye to collect more light. And this causes the cat's eye to appear bright and because of the tapetum lucidum it allows cats to have excellent night vision and use it to hunt successfully in dark in dim or dim light not complete darkness because in complete darkness they cannot see we cannot see with our eyes without light 
Here, you have to know that all cats have a membrane that acts as a mirror at the back of their eyes. Some animals such as deers, horses, cats and dogs have a feature that relates to the sense of sight like the fishing cat so and their eyes glow in dark or dim light called ta tapitum lucidum. Deers, horses, cats and dogs they have tapitum lucidum. They have tapitum lucidum. Now let me ask you a question. Do we have excellent night vision? No, we don't have excellent night vision because we don't have tapitum lucidum. We cannot see in dim light, but we can use Google's have the same function of the tapitum lucidum. It's called night vision goggles. They are glasses. They specify in seeing at night. So these glasses have night vision. Have night vision. So this, uh, this glass is called what? Night vision goggles. The same function of the Tapitum lucidum. Second, we are going to talk about the tarsier monkey that found in island of Southeast Asia. Can you see here this tarsier monkey? It's very, very, very small. Its length is about 10 centimeter. The tarsier monkey is very tiny animal it is a very tiny animal it's one of the primate species it's species called primate this monkey from mammals that is about 10 centimeter long excluding its tail it feeds on insects and small lizards or birds can you see here observe the tarsier monkey it has what? It's one of the nocturnal animals or it has a night vision. It has what? Like owls. Excellent. It has huge eyes. It has huge eyes. These huge eyes to collect and reflect any light available to be able to form a clear image of its surroundings. And there is something else about the tarsier monkey. The tarsier monkey cannot move its eyes in its socket. Like if I'm moving this pencil in front of it, the, uh, its eyes cannot move with the pencil. It should move its head. So that's the meaning of the tarsier monkey cannot move its eyes in their socket. Like if I want to look at this pencil without moving my head i can move my eyes in its in their sockets i can move my eyes in their sockets but the tarsier monkey cannot do this this is the same like owl so its head has adapted to turn in many direction its head can turn with a 180 degree to focus on distant or near objects at night. So its head can move in many directions like the owl, but the owl can move its head with 270 degrees, not 180. But both of them are similar because they can turn their heads in many directions. Okay. So that's concept two. See you now. We have finished concept three. See you in the next video. Thank you.